Point number one, wearing summer clothes, although it's still spring. So some ladies are a little bit too quick to pull out those summer clothes. I have seen some strange examples when ladies wear their July, August type of clothing, you know, open toe sandals, a light, short, and very minimal summer dresses. Although it's only end of March or beginning of April. Okay, the sun is starting to shine in northern parts of the world. This doesn't mean it's now time for summer clothes. And I'm referring now to those who live in countries with four seasons. Number two, the jeans short and the crop top combo. Last year when I went to Venice, I was sitting most of the days observing bypassing people as they walk past and I noticed that a majority of people or women were wearing the jeans short and the crop top combo. I personally don't like this style either because I think it's too revealing. I think it shows too much skin and I don't like to get that intimate with people. Maybe you have a different opinion, maybe that suits your boat, but it doesn't suit my ship. May 9th, remember that day, because that's the day when I will be launching my brand new workshop where you will learn about those style truths that they don't want you to know. Because ladies, there are reasons to why you have a closet full of clothes, but nothing to wear. And it's time we end that once and for all. So join me on May 9th, where I will be revealing things that you wish you would have known sooner. If you want to get this invitation to this free workshop, go to stylethruths.com and register. Number three. So I haven't included this point ever before in my content because I thought seriously it was a joke. But it's been a trend since 2020. And it's not a joke, ladies. So fashion people and influencers were dead serious when they introduced the visible thong trend. <laughs> I keep seeing women wear it on the streets and I find it a little bit bizarre. I think if you're striving for elegance, you have to definitely stay away from this trend because it's definitely more on the tacky side. It's also a very sexualized trend. And as you know, ladies, I am a feminist. I don't like fashion that sexualizes women. I prefer fashion where the woman can keep her dignity. Now, people who support this visual thong trend and also who, who claim that all these, you know, sexual fashion trends are here because they're empowering women to be able to wear whatever she wants so that she's free as a bird and nobody can judge her. And this is not the point here. We're not here to judge the woman for wearing her thong outside of her trousers. My problem with this trend is who does it really benefit? I think it just benefits men. It just gives him a free peep show and that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think, but also what other trends do you believe an elegant woman would never wear? Number four, continuing with the plain Jane conversation. And when I say plain Jane, ladies, please be aware, I'm not saying it in a condescending way. I have been a plain Jane and I worked on moving away from that personal brand. So this is a channel where us ladies, we work on elevating ourselves. We are more interested in elegant and sophisticated fashion, and we just don't want to look like the regular, you know, plain Jane next door. So if you avoid the cotton tank top, that's going to make you a head start because this is a piece that definitely Definitely is very basic, very plain, and does not have any elevated look to it whatsoever. I do think that of course there's a time and place for everything. So if you want to wear a cotton tank top, maybe it's more suited for your active wear. Maybe you're doing some really casual things or activities. But if you want to look more elegant, then the cotton tank top is not gonna get you there. You can of course change the fabric of the tank top. Maybe it's a cashmere tank top. Maybe it's of another fabric that just feels a little bit more elevated. Then it can definitely work. Number five. So the neon trend is happening as we speak. And I have since many years back been telling you ladies that it is difficult to make neon look expensive and elegant. And that's because the artificial nature of neon. Neon is the opposite of classic, of minimal, of discreet. Instead, it's loud, artificial, and maybe a little bit weird as well, which of course doesn't really belong to the elegant category. I think that if you are someone who likes to be more flamboyant, but still elegant, you can definitely wear some form of neon. What I would try and focus on then is to move away from the really kind of highlighter neon and maybe go a little bit more on the muted neon path. That way you can wear these neon colors and be really bright and stand out and be flamboyant, but still it looks a little bit more collected and put together. 
Number six. Probably in the last five, seven years, the androgynous trend has been on everyone's lips, especially all the fashionistas' lips. As you know, I am on team feminine fashion, and unfortunately, we have not been on many people's lips in the last, I don't know, how many years. For some reason, people tend to frown upon us. Instead, we are definitely living in some really strange times where something wrong with femininity. I believe a woman can wear whatever she wants. If she wants to wear androgynous clothes, why not? But here in my community, on my channel, Channel, we tend to prefer feminine clothes. It's therefore very painful to see when the big oversized gentleman's blazer steps into the room and it looks so odd and so weird and it's so sad because the whole beautiful female shape just vanishes, just drowns in that massive blazer. It looks very disproportional. Also, it doesn't look very flattering because it widens her. It makes her look heavier, makes her look like she put on weight. With the work that I do with image consulting, we have to think about how our clothes position us because it's important to create a flattering silhouette because after all, you want to look your best. Number seven, continuing with the kind of shapeless fashion trend. There's of course a lot of trends. I was scrolling the other day trying to do some online shopping and I realized because I'm a, I'm a little bit of a big shopper myself, if I can admit. And of course I pay attention to how the markets develop and I'm noticing that right here, right now, the fashion market for people like you and me who like classic style, who like feminine style, it's not good for us because right now you have just really strange clothes and this point is what I call kind of the shapeless balloon shape. I don't know, I think it's yet another trend that makes you look worse than you are, makes you look big, bulky, makes you look like a ball. From an elegance perspective, I find it hard to understand, but this way you also know what to stay away from if you want to focus more on elegant cuts rather than trendy cuts. Number eight. So the Converse sneaker is considered to be a classic because <laughs> unfortunately it just never seems to go out of style. And it's not only popular with the alternative community, by the way, it's also popular for, you know, regular women wearing them together with her jeans or casual trousers or whatever. I enjoy sneakers, I wear sneakers myself, but I think there are sneakers and then there are sneakers. Because to me, they just look too casual and actually not really attractive. And the reasons for that are quite simple. First of all, the Converse shoe it cuts off your leg and it's not flattering for anyone unless you want to have an optical illusion of shorter legs it's also incredibly uncomfortable <laughs> have you ever felt a converse shoe from the inside it's completely flat and really bad for your feet to wear it and then for the aesthetic of the shoe it looks like a clown shoe number nine the cutout trend now again i was shopping the other day and there were so many nice dresses that i saw unfortunately i couldn't buy any of them because all all of them seem to have the new cutout trend, which is annoying because I don't think this trend was created for the general public because the general public has got love handles and oftentimes you have the cutouts exactly where your love handles are and this is not flattering. But even if the cutouts are not necessarily there but somewhere else, I feel definitely there are some nice looking dresses with cutouts that you can absolutely wear and still be elegant, but then there are many dresses that they just take this trend a little bit too far when it looks quite tacky. Number 10 and the last one, tie dye. The very juvenile trend, but also just a trend that makes you look incredibly unsophisticated. I don't like tie dye as a pattern and I don't think it's going to elevate you whatsoever. Now ladies, this Thursday I'm releasing a bonus video on my channel, so make sure you tune in on Thursday. Now in my next videos, 10 things elegant ladies never wear in summer, I'm gonna give you some more good pointers, so make sure you watch that video. I will see you there.